that I wonder, I wonder why I didn't want her. I want her, that's the thing that matters. And matters are improving daily. My name's Andrew Pollock, and I am in Pennsylvania. I love her, woo, and tomorrow. This is my first time doing the Lenya competition. I have known about this competition since I was an undergrad. And I was a senior, and I think I was watching the 2012 Lenya competition. And when I saw those live final performances, I was completely blown away by the talent and the passion that these performers had, not only for musical theater and opera, but also for Kurt Vile. The brandy bottle smashing everywhere. I was so thrilled to get to basically take a whole history course in Kurt Vile's music and what he's created. Because Kurt Vile's music is out of this world extraordinary. When the world shut down, I went, you know what? This is my last year I can possibly do this. I really need to take advantage of this time and put all the energy and the hard work into the Lenya competition. And it has been the most worthwhile experience of this whole pandemic. And I am so grateful that I threw myself into it. Beyond belief, I, I was crazy and ready to explode. That's how mad I was now. There are so many things you can take from this Lenya process. I want to say the number one is how to just prepare for a character in any show. It's such a challenge in the Lenny competition and also in auditions to capture a whole character in just one song. Now when you're looking at me, Whether you're just focusing on what the character uh, is trying to achieve in the show or if you're going very, very specifically to how he might uh, hold himself or carry himself or like hold a pencil. You're exercising your muscle to create a character in the most detailed way possible. And I will continue to strengthen that muscle for uh, the rest of my career. It was so challenging to A, find a theater that would take me during the pandemic when there are still no performances going on and everyone's super, super cautious about COVID-19. Well, I wish for all the things I should have done. Long to finish what I only just begun. It was so bizarre to go off with these performances to an audience of no one. I've done shows where there are maybe like 13 people in the audience, and that is still better than walking into an audience and seeing no one in the seats. Because then I want to say what's so great about theater and what's so brilliant about theater and why I miss it so much is because you're not the only performer out there. You were performing on the stage and there are a whole bunch of people performing in their seats, whether they like it or not. They are part of that communal energy and the communal feeling of coming together as a society and a culture. And that is, I think, what is missing so much with all of the technology stuff is that we are losing the sense of the personal humanity that we all feel and crave. Heaven knows how glory comes, what each of us was meant to be. That is what we are. I can see so.